Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to cover some useful math functions that you should know in the C programming language. To work with these math functions, we'll need to include the following header file. We will include math.h. Let's say we have a variable, an integer of x. I'll set x to be 9 in the beginning. And then at the end we'll display it. Print f x is an integer, we need a format specifier of d for decimal, and then we'll display x. I need the square root of x, which is 9, so the square root is going to be 3. I could type the following. I'll reassign x, use the square root function, which is sqrt, and then pass in a number or variable. I'll just pass in x. The square root function will return the square root of whatever x is x is 9, the square root of 9 is going to be 3. Let's test it. Yep, 3. So if I was missing this header file, this is what would happen. We have a warning. There's an incompatible implicit declaration of built-in function square root sqrt. So that's why that header file is important. Let me comment this out. There's a power function to raise a base to a given power. I'll change x to be 2, let's say. x equals, use the pow function, we will pass in x to the power of 2. We have a base raised to a given power. 2 to the power of 2 is 4. Let's raise x to the power of 3, which would be 8. x to the power of 4 would be 16. That's the pow function, meaning power. We can raise a base to a given power. Then we can round a number. Let's change x to be a floating point number. x will equal 3.14. Let's change our format specifier to be an f for floating point number. I'm going to take x and round it and reassign it. We'll use the round function, pass in x. x rounded would give you 3.0. You can always round up by using the ceiling function. x equals seal, meaning ceiling, pass in x. 3.14 rounded up is going to be 4. You can always round down. We'll change 3.14 to be 3.99. x equals floor to always round down, pass in x. 3.99 rounded down is 3.0. Let's change x to be negative 3. There's an absolute value function. x equals abs, pass in our value or variable. And let's change x to be an integer this time. The absolute value function will give you the distance from 0 as a positive number. The absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3. If you need the natural logarithm of a value or variable, there's a log function. x equals log, pass in x. Let's change x to be a floating point number. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. All right, what's the natural logarithm of x? when x is 3. That would be 1.09. If you ever need to work with trigonometry, there's a few different trigonometry related functions. For example, we can find the sine of a value or variable by passing in a number of radians. Let's say x is 45, I'm just making up a number here. x will be in radians. By using the sine function, we'll be given the sine. This would be useful if you ever need trigonometry. We probably won't in this series, but it's there if you ever need it. So that's sine. We have cosine. x equals cos for cosine. Pass in an amount of radians. Again, x is 45. Or some other number of your choosing. The cosine of 45 is 0 0.52. And then tan for tangent x equals tan, 
pass in x. Again, x is 45. The tangent is 1.61. All right, everybody, those are some useful math functions that you should know about in C.